I said a lot before he got drafted. I was not a believer. He was very one dimensional. And we're seeing that this year. You put players that have winning backgrounds around him, a Fred Van Vliet, a Jeff Green, and he has not lived up to what they thought they were getting. And he was in the conversation for being traded at the trade deadline, which says a lot for how high he was drafted and how early in his career he still is. Jalen Green, what grade does Mr. Green <laughs> Yeah. A D, a D. I feel like he should be a lot further along in his career and he's become expendable. Like, I think Amen is a lot more untouchable than he is. Like, hmm. you, see, you see Amen and I just see the traits. He can't shoot right now, but everything else he brings to the field, the field still in football, uh, brings to the court. That's what you want. He plays defense. He grabs rebounds. He makes plays. Jalen doesn't do any of that. Like, he's a scorer, and that's, like, his whole mentality. Um, and he's not doing that well this year. 18 points per game, 41% from the field, and 30% from three points. Yeah, and that's the thing. He had a stretch maybe a couple weeks ago where, yeah, he was averaging maybe 27 a game for, like, two weeks. And you're you're thinking, like, all right, maybe – he can figure it out. But no, there's been too many times where there's stretches where he doesn't do any of that. So, um, yeah, I think maybe in the off season, because I don't think they're going to sign him to a max deal because that's when this off season coming up, you're going to get guys like Cade and Mobley and even Jalen Johnson, probably from Atlanta signing extensions. Um, but if I'm Houston, You've got a good thing going right now. You've got good young pieces. You've got Cam Whitmore. You've got Amen. You've got veterans like Dylan Brooks and Fred Van Vliet. Like Jalen kind of doesn't fit on this team anymore. And um, I'm sure Ime gets frustrated with like some of his shot selection and what he does on the court. Um, but that's the thing. For a second overall pick, nobody's going to really bite for it. Jalen Green, unless you attach a bunch of picks to him. And even that, it's not going to get you that much. Because I think that's what they tried to do with Brooklyn. And he doesn't push the needle enough to get Bridges. Even though Bridges is having an okay year, I still value him more than Jalen Green and a bunch of picks. Brooklyn Brooklyn said, we ain't down that bad. We don't want no Jalen. <laughs> well, Kyle, Kyle Bridges is still really, really viable in the NBA because of the contract he yes. off, he's and not just the contract what he does off the ball he's like he's still a very good he's an elite basketball player it's just he's not a one he's out of he's just playing out of position so he's still got incredible value to a team and you know what Ime Udoka is a, is a winner he's trying to bring winners in there guys who have winning habits guys who play defense guys who understand what it takes to win and Macau does he just it's just the, the cards aren't stacked in his favor right now. He's got a bad coach it's 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 a bad situation hate to hate the crap on the black guy it's just a bad situation but Jalen Green is a loser. He is a loser. That is the bottom line. He is a loser. And 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 I mean it in every facet of the word. He, he, he as a basketball player, he doesn't un, he was never coached. He was never coached. He doesn't understand how to play defense. He doesn't understand where to be defensively. He doesn't understand defensive rotations. He doesn't understand how to make the right reads. He's just trying to go out there and score. He's playing like it's a high school game. And the problem is, you see, under under last dude's Silas, it was okay because Silas was running a little AAU program. It's a grassroots program over there in Houston. So it's fine for them for him to go do, do whatever he wants. And I mean it. They didn't run plays, bro. I saw them play three times in person. They don't run plays. And so they, at least they didn't with him. And now Ime comes in. Ime's trying to win games. And Ime's like, yo, like, you don't – I'm realizing you, you're you just a loser. Like, you don't know how to win because no one ever taught you. And the problem is you're now – how old is he? 22, 21, whatever he is. It's too late. Yeah. It's too late. I can't te- I can't unteach you bad habits because you've never been coached. You were always the most talented player in high school, in grade school, AAU, G League at night. You just coasted on talent, and it was fine. They called you unicorn early and all this stuff. Okay, and and the problem is, you did you never knew how to play basketball. You never actually understood 
how to a simple give and go. You're not unselfish. You know, you care who scores the point. It's, it's, got, it's got to be it's got to be you. He's a selfish guy. He's selfish. He, he doesn't help on defense. He doesn't talk on defense. You know what I'm saying? He's just good. To, he's just good for shooting the ball. That's it. That's it. So, you know, with him in a championship coach like Ime Udoka being in the building, of course he wants him out of there. Problem is, Ime, everybody sees what you see. Everybody sees what you see. You see, they see he's a loser too. So ain't nobody want to coach him. For what? Where am I sending him to? We, what are we going to get in return? You're not getting nothing in return for him. You know that. You know that. So it's really sad and it's indicative of where basketball is right now. Different rant. But it's really indicative because that's exactly what it is. These kids coast on talent. They're never, they've never been more talented. But they don't play basketball the right way. And this is the problem with the bucket getter mentality. Guys get buckets early in their career. Guys get buckets in high school and college. You, you're fooled and you're bamboozled. I think this guy's going to be the next star. He can't miss. But he, he, don't, he don't know how to box out, though. He don't know how to pump fake, though. He don't know how to pass fake, though. He doesn't know how to throw an entry pass. So he's really not a good basketball player unless he's shooting the basketball. And even then, because he doesn't know how to do the little things, he's never really going to be an efficient basketball player because he also don't know how to play off the catch. He can't play off the catch. He can't just catch and shoot. He can't catch, rip, and make a move. To a quick, one efficient, one dribble pull up. He ain't got none of that stuff to his game. It's got to be, oh, I'm gonna dance with the ball, dance with the ball. I'm gonna jump and hope something good happens. I might dunk on you, like you did. The other, you know what I mean? Like, makes me sick. Makes me sick. I sound like I'm, I sound older than I am, but this is what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, he's a loser. F, loser, loser. Hey, you're not old, cause I see it too now. Like I said, back training. Kids really don't know how to do the basic reverse pivot like yes we spent 10 15 minutes on trying to reverse pivot right foot left foot do the correct pivot yep. rip at the knees yep. triple threat have it on the hip this is your shooting pocket and mm-hmm. this was the advanced class this was the sixth to eighth grade mm-hmm. but the thing is the thing is a guy like Jalen Green wasn't even doing that and, and that's why I'm saying, like, you, you, they, they find these trainers who teach him all these complicated moves and all that stuff because he's gifted enough to pick it up. But he never learned the simple stuff because he coasted off of that ability for so long. And, and now you're in the NBA. And I'm telling you where it's headed with Jalen Green. He, he's got, yo, he's got the rest of his rookie contract and another year to figure it out before we, we, we label him. And he's gone in a couple of years. I mean it because he can't be a role player. That's the problem. So he can't even age his way out of the league gracefully. He can't play off the catch, so he can't be an off-ball guy. So if he's not the guy, then he'll never be an NBA player. He can't be in the NBA. That's where we're headed. Be careful. That's where we're headed with him. Okay, you saw the highlights of him working out with uh, Devin Booker and Kevin Durant in the offseason and all that stuff. They play well off the catch, though. Like, you don't. You don't. You are inefficient off the catch. You don't make shots off the catch. You don't make good, good decisions off the catch. And you're really only in it for yourself. Let's just be honest. You know, you know for yourself. So and they they do way more where they can be effective, even if they aren't scoring. But that's a whole nother whole nother discussion. That's why Gilbert Arenas sound like a dumb dummy for for talking about. Oh yeah, I take him over Jalen Brunson. What did he say? Did he say something like that? He said something stupid. 